Oh boy. We've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> what is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Moza Alatorre and today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me because I have an Urban Decay event to attend tonight for the launch of the Naked Cherry palette. Today's video is not sponsored. I just happen to be going to this event tonight. If you're wondering why my skin looks like this on camera right now, that is because I got an IPL treatment which stands for Intense Pulse Light, which helps to remove sun damage. So. All of the pigmentation and redness that you're seeing is from that treatment. Essentially, it pulls all of the pigmentation to the surface and eventually it just flakes off. But this is literally 24 hours after the treatment, so I'm a little more red and a little more uh, freckly than normal. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna start by using something to reduce the redness. And I remember using this a long time ago and my skin looked amazing without anything else on it. This is the Sika Pear. Derma Green Solution Tiger Grass Camo Drops from Dr. Jart. I think last time I used the actual cream that comes in a tub, this is more like a, kind of like a serum, um, but thicker than a normal serum. It says, neutralizes redness and ignites skin's glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and work this into the skin. So I'm just gonna work it in like this to hopefully neutralize the redness. I should have shaken this bottle up before, I think. I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna warm it up between my hands and then apply it. This is my second time getting IPL. I do have a video from the first time I did it. I'll link it within this video. IPL is something that you have to not continuously go back and get, but you do want to touch it up because the pigmentation can come back, especially if you've been out in the sun. And I feel like this summer I was out in the sun a lot. Honestly, after the first treatment, I feel like my skin, I saw like a night and day difference. A lot of the intense pigmentation that I did have, especially those two sunspots that used to be right here, went away with just one treatment. So this is just me going back to make sure that they stay away from my face. I really love the look of freckles. I do have a video on that as well, how to um, wear makeup with freckles from the last time I got IPL. But I feel like a lot of the redness did get toned down with this serum, which is amazing. So now I'm gonna go in with foundation and I need something that is very long wearing so that the uh, redness or the freckles don't start peeking through halfway through the event. So I'm gonna use Estee Lauder's <laughs> Double Wear. Fawn still might be a little dark. Instead, I'm gonna try shade 2W2 Rattan. I think this is a good match. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stipple it onto the skin. You can do makeup right after an IPL treatment. I like to let it breathe, but because I have an event, I'm, I'm doing my makeup anyway. I mean, everyone's skin is different, so some people might react differently to an IPL treatment, but for me, I feel like my skin takes it really well, and it only takes a week for my skin to fully recover, and I wish I would have done this treatment sooner, knowing that the downtime wouldn't be as dramatic as I thought it would be. I highly recommend it if you have a lot of uh, sun damage, like sun spots, to look into the treatment because it is so worth it. I'll put all of my friend's information down in the description box because she's extremely helpful. I constantly text her when one of you guys asks what treatment you should do for whatever situation is that you have going on and she's been so helpful. So um, I'll put her information down below so you guys can contact her directly. She's amazing. I'm going back to my heavy duty Tarte Shape Tape because I need a little more coverage down the center of the face. So I haven't used this concealer in a while, I feel like. I would totally do more of like a grungy look with freckles, maybe even add more freckles, but because the skin is so red right now, <laughs> I feel like I really need to cover it up, which kind of sucks. So whenever I'm filming, I like to let a YouTube channel run on my computer, and right now I'm letting Lady Gaga's channel run. I freaking love Lady Gaga. You guys, I am so excited for A Star Is Born to come out. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but me and my friend, we were actually extras in the final scene, which is like the biggest scene in the entire movie. Gaga, during the taping of A Star Is Born, she sold tickets to her fans for like 15 bucks to be a part of the audience so that it felt really authentic. And it was kind of cool because when she came out, she didn't come out in like true Gaga fashion. Like she didn't make a scene or anything. And she kind of looked sad. And all of us were like, oh, okay, just like be serious. Like don't ruin her acting career. She gets on the mic, she's speaking so softly and she's like, you know, thank you guys for coming. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna need your help today more than ever because I just got off the phone and found out that my friend has passed from cancer. There was not a single dry eye in the house. All of us were just crying our eyes out with Gaga. I mean, I'm telling you guys, it was the most intimate performance or environment I've ever been in. Um, 
with such a major celebrity, especially someone who I personally admire and love, not only is she acting out a really sad scene, she just had something really sad and heartbreaking happen to her in real life. So if you guys go and watch A Star Is Born, the final scene, know that the emotion in that scene is so real. Jackie, Ina, and Hart rented out an entire movie theater and invited their subscribers to come watch a movie with them. I kind of want to do that. I have to look into how to do it. I don't know how to go about renting a movie theater, but I kind of want to do it for A Star Is Born. Comment down below if you would be down to come watch a movie. I'll buy a Costco supply of tissues. We can all cry together, watch the movie. I think that'd be so fun. I'm gonna use this Lancome Fix It Forget It spray to kind of melt this makeup into the skin because I feel like it's a lot. Who is texting me? I'm currently, a Deepika? <laughs> I need to learn to put my phone far away when filming because I get easily distracted and I'm just sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, I've been on my phone for 10 minutes. It's a really bad habit. Because I am going to an Urban Decay event, I'm gonna use the entire Naked Cherry collection. Again, this is not sponsored. Whenever I attend a brand event, I try to wear, um, or, sh oh my God, it keeps going, Deepika. <laughs> Me and Deepika do this thing where we text each other multiple times, even though it could be sent in one text. I don't know why we do that, but right now is not the time. Not the time, Deepika. So this is the little highlight blush palette. This one over here is actually so beautiful as a blush cheek topper. I used it when I was in New York. But I'm gonna go in with the highlight first. I like to highlight before anything else. It's kind of like a get ready with me, but also instructional video since I'm dealing with a lot on the skin right now. At least my skin isn't textured. I want to emphasize that. There's no texture on my skin even though it looks textured. I am going to use the Marc Jacobs bronzer. I'm officially back from my two weeks of travel. I feel like my last get ready with me, it was prepping for two weeks of travel. Now I'm back from two weeks of travel. Honestly, I'm so stressed right now. I have so much going on. It's just hard. I'm actually officially looking for someone to help me out. Kind of like an assistant slash kind of like partner in crime, I guess, since Kyle doesn't work with me. He is a screenwriter, so he actually goes to work Monday through Friday, nine to five, or more like nine to nine. The hours in the TV movie biz are crazy long. I used to work them myself when I first moved to LA. I worked as a production assistant. I remember there were days where I would leave work at like two in the morning and have to be back at like six in the morning. It was nuts. It was definitely not for me. It's funny because there's this website on the internet, obviously on the internet, called Famous Birthdays. It's essentially like a short bio, your photo, who you are, and they cover a lot of YouTubers. And I stumbled across it and in my bio it said, Melissa originally moved to LA to pursue an acting career. And I was like, what? No, I didn't. I've never, I've never wanted to act ever. I do have one instance that's super random and I plan on doing a story time video for this. I was randomly on a reality show called Love in the Wild on wow. NBC, primetime. So embarrassing. Um, so that's maybe where they got the idea that I wanted to act. I didn't try out for that reality show. I was not asking to be on a reality show. I just happened to be out in Hollywood with a bunch of friends and a producer was like, hey, you should be on this show. And I was like, hey, I'm out of college and really broke and don't have a legit job right now. So why not? Let me know if you guys would want to see a story time video on that because I think it's Hilarious. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with blush. When you cover up freckles or pigmentation like that, it can start to look gray through the foundation. So I'm working more so in tapping motions to not move around the foundation. This is like the most not ready I have ever looked on camera, like sweatshirt, hair's not done. I'm gonna do my hair really quickly on camera as well. This is like a legit get ready with me because I actually have somewhere to go this time. Okay, now the little cheek topper. I'm gonna use that same highlighting brush and look at how beautiful this is. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. See how it's got like that nice raspberry pink highlight? So pretty. All right, the eyes for me take a little more concentration. So I'm gonna run through it really quickly for you guys. I think I'm gonna go super dramatic. I don't know what my outfit's gonna be, but I thought you can't go wrong with a super dramatic dark smoky eye. So if you guys haven't seen it, this is the Naked Cherry Palette. And these are the colors in here. It's definitely a lot deeper than what it translates on Insta Stories. I think the first one I'm gonna go in with is Juicy, this peachy color. Tossing it into the crease. And I want this eye to be super blown out smoky. Next, I'm gonna go in with Devilish. Same area, just building on the color. And then I'm gonna use Privacy to really deepen up that outer corner. And the final, final color I'm gonna use is Drunk Dial on that space that doesn't have any eyeshadow currently on it. And I'm gonna mist it with that Fix It Forget It spray from Lancome. <gasps> we have a problem here. Crisis averted, I had to add a little more, well I had to scrape it off with a spoolie, add a little more concealer, mist myself. I mean you can still kinda see it but 
we're gonna pretend like it's not there. I'm gonna finish the eyes so we can get back to chatting. I'm gonna fill in the waterline with Black Market 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil to smoke it out some more. And then I am gonna mix these two highlighters for the inner corner. I'm gonna do my brows and add mascara and then I will be back to start wrapping up this video because now I'm getting hot and I have uh, officially 30 minutes to finish getting ready. I am looking forward to the day when I'm not running late. I'm always running late, but I had to film this video for you guys because I wanted you to see what my skin looked like after that treatment and how I was gonna cover it up. But uh, for the lips, I am going to be using my favorite one from the Naked Cherry collection, which is called Juicy. And all I do with this one is literally pile it on my lips like this. It's so pretty. It's got like a really cool reflect and it just makes your lips look, as the name says, juicy. Okay, I'm gonna run through my hair really quick for you guys and then I gotta really speed it up. I think I'm gonna wave my hair and then I'm gonna end up putting it up anyway because at these events it gets so hot that if I wear my hair down, I end up looking like a sweaty poodle. I'm gonna put this half up. This is a one and a quarter inch, I believe, curling iron. I'm gonna do my beachy waves, which I do have a full length tutorial on this technique on my channel. It's kind of old, I might have to redo it. But what I do is I comb it through once just to smooth it out. If you have textured wavy hair like mine, I pull down and curl up, wait for it to get a little hot, do the same thing, pull it down, curl up. And then you wanna just pull the ends straight through so that it's not a curl and it's a wave and you just let it sit there. And then for the next one, you wanna alternate it so that the wave is going in the other direction. So again, you wanna just comb it through one time to smooth it out if you have textured hair. And then for this one, you're gonna curl inward. And the hair starts to kind of create this twist, which will give you a really pretty wave, like a really nice natural beachy wave. There we go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair and then officially come back to conclude this video. Gotta touch up my lip after eating all those chips. <laughs> those Siete chips are so good. They're grain free, so you don't feel as bad when you eat them. The ones with the hint of lime, delicious, so good. All right guys, that concludes this get ready with me slash makeup tutorial. Waiting for Kyle to get home to see if he wants to come to this event because Snoop Dogg is supposed to be performing. <laughs> One final step I almost forgot about, all nighter setting spray. This is cherry scented to go with the cherry collection. And my work here is done. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Make sure to give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. California dreams do come true. <laughs>